all started with a simple crack in the floor. And Pine Elementary wanted to fix the unsightly crack. And Tess revealed something in the floor that no parent wants to know is in their child's gym floor. Mercury. All of a sudden on a Monday morning we show up and it was just an over the night, like they got a phone call saying, I guess it tested positive for Mercury. The floor was installed when the school was built in 1988. The tartan brand floor was commonly used in gyms during the 80s and is made with mercury to improve the floor material. The gym was shut down last October by officials to test how much mercury gas the floor was releasing. This were 0.46 micrograms per cubic meter, a fraction of the federally allowed limit allowing the gym to reopen. However, parents are still concerned, prompting another test today. The Jerome meter is basically detecting the levels of mercury vapor that are in the air, and it takes a sample every one minute over an eight hour period is what we're gonna do. The results of the test prompted multiple agencies to look at potential mercury levels in gyms around the state. The task force was formed in early November in response to a request by the School Facilities Board for expertise with uh, sampling and testing and risk assessment for the possibility of mercury off-gassing from floors located in schools statewide. After polling over 200 districts, 159 schools were identified as potentially having mercury in the floor. Now they wait to be assessed in the same manner as Pine Elementary. However, parents urge the agencies to be transparent. And that's my biggest concern is I don't want to follow the money trail and find out that decisions were made on a given situation, maybe ours or possibly even a smaller school, um, that in, the, in that environment the correct decision wasn't made because the money wasn't there to fix it. Reporting in Flagstaff, I'm Colleen Sikora.